Hello, good people of the internet. It's been a long time. Excuse my uh, portal reference. I hope you got it. Well, actually, I don't care. Um, it was terrible. Basically, I'm back from the dead. Yay! Nobody cares. Uh, but I just thought I'd come on here because I miss it. I really do. I like... I really miss playing single-player Minecraft. Uh, it's just... So satisfying, making big crazy farms, you know, destroying everything, making everything flat and boring, uh, like I was in the last episode. Uh, just, you know, dominating the world, making the earth my own. As you may have noticed, um, the textures are different to last time. So, I am actually playing on 1.14.2. Um, I decided to update after all that time, which, yes, means the iron farm is broken, which is very, very sad. Um, but basically, the reason behind me updating was the fact that, um, before updating, I decided to run my iron farm for a while. Um, and, you know, that was, that was all hunky-dory, get lots of iron before I update. Um, but then I came to it after one AFK session. And I'd only got, like, a chest of iron. And I was like, what is going on? I should have way more than this. Um, so it turns out my iron farm just broke itself. I think it is to do with, and jump to a different clip of video, the, the guy not being in his boat where he is meant to be. So he's meant to be in this glass cage thing. But he isn't. Um... And so I was like, well, I have, well, let me show you, I have this many shulker boxes of iron blocks, um, plus these. And I was like, yeah, you know what, that's probably going to be enough to last me a very, very, very long time, so I'm just going to update. Um, so, yes, my iron farm is now dead, but thankfully we have many, many other features to play with. Oh, by the way, I destroyed the uh, the reed farm in preparation for making this project, and in doing so, um, I'll just let you watch the clip. We are going to create a... Ah, oh, my jeez! Oh, 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 gosh. So that was fun. Uh, there seems to be a recurring theme in my uh, Let's Play series now. Uh, last episode I got uh, scared by a creeper, and uh, this episode, well, yeah, this episode I got scared by a creeper. So, you know, it's all going very hunky-dory and uh, amazing. So, fun little backstory uh, to this, to me getting the spruce logs, actually. Um, before I updated to 1.14, I mean, quite a while ago, I was like, I'm going to make this series modded. Just little mods like uh, a mini-map and like a tree capitator because, you know, making it modded, it just, it's just a few, few little things will just be slightly easier. Um, but then I decided, no, and I'm just going to update to 1.14 instead. So I know mods can be classified as cheating, um, but I might still use the item duplication glitch uh, where you kind of kill a llama in lava or something mostly lava uh, whilst you put them through the end portal um, because I have run out of shulker boxes almost and I really really don't like collecting them so I may I may uh, kind of do that just 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 to get some more sort of shulker boxes nothing too major obviously I probably won't get things like iron because I don't need iron um, but other smaller things, I think I might. Um, but we'll see. That that would be a project for another episode. Yes, in updating the world, I obviously decided to make it uncustomized. Because, well, customized worlds aren't... They'll own little words. Are no longer supported in uh, Minecraft 1.13 or 1.14. They were removed in 1.13. So, yes, no longer customized, but that's fine because um, the only things which I really changed in, um, you know, which I changed in customizing it were making more dungeons. So, like, uh, my zombie purifier thing down there, like, spawner dungeon type overworld things. And making more diamonds and iron and all other ores uh, appear. But 
I'm now fairly rich and I don't really need them. So I have been to ocean chunks before, but with the new ocean generation from 1.13, I figured I didn't really want, um, you know, well, I, di I did want rather, I did want some of the new features like shipwrecks and coral and kelp and all that stuff. So the chunks which I had loaded in the uh, ocean, um, they, I've deleted them and I'm going to regenerate them when I next go there. Ah, so one of the things which I've done since updating is I have made myself new armor because now you can put all the different types of protection on uh, on one bit of armor. It's pretty cool. So I now have maxed out fire, projectile, uh, blast protection, as well as just normal protection. Um, plus the unique ones like respiration, feather falling, etc. And I've, I've named them, so definitely not crocs. Mincing chaps. I can't remember why I called it that, because I actually named it that a while ago. But whatever. Uh, it's easy. Just jump, they said. And genuine Australian bush hat. Yes, so um, I have I have done a few things though. So I've been to the Nether. Um, I've got some more uh, what do you call them? Beacons. Uh, in the process of doing that though, I did die uh, once. So I'll show you that clip now. That was a little unfortunate, but you know, what can you do? I have started flattening the old spawn area uh, and that is in aid of making more farms because now obviously spawn is doing nothing since the iron farm is broken and of course I will make a new iron farm when a new design comes out that actually kind of works again um, but for now it is, it is broken sadly. Um, what is not broken though is this thing which is a giant blaze farm. If you fell for that, I'm just sorry for you. No, it is a big storage system, believe it or not. I don't know if the chests gave it away. Um, I hope so, maybe. But what it is for is storing all of the, the stuff that I expect to get in bulk. Uh, I say expect to. I already have some of these things in bulk. Uh, I transferred all of my iron from those shulker boxes that I had into these chests. Um... But yes, this will store all of the things that my future farms will produce. Uh, with the exception of one or two things which can't be farmed, but we'll gloss over that. Most stuff can. Um, and the clever thing about it, it, it's quite primitive, but it's clever to me, uh, is that it's automatic. You can, well, I can run along here, place some stuff in this chest, like anything I want, items, even shulker boxes, uh, and then this device here, which I, I have made but haven't, oh balls, I missed, uh, I made but off camera because it took me a long time, uh, this thing takes the uh, contents of this chest, uh, and if they're just plain items, shoots them up this bubbles, bubble stream, <laughs> bubble, love bubbles, uh, shoots them up there. Uh, or if it's a shulker box, empties the shulker box, uh, empties its contents out into the bubble stream before then shooting the shulker box itself up into the bubble stream. Uh, so that does all of that automatically, automatically. Uh, and then that, all, all those items run along a big chain of hoppers, which you can kind of see there and there. Uh, and then there are item filters here for each, for each column and stuff gets put into its respective chest. And then if something gets through and it doesn't have a specific place in the system, it gets put into this chest, or rather this column of chests. And that's basically it. Uh, it is a big storagey roomy thingy for storing all the thingies. Excellent. Can I ask you though, why is it always, always raining? For half the time I was building that blinking storage room. Well, actually no, the storage room's fine. It was blinking raining. I don't know what's up with this world. It's just always raining. It's like it's it's mind crack or something. Uh, or is that Hermitcraft? Anyway, something else which I, I did whilst building this thing was I, I kind of thought I would experiment with some crossbows. So I have a crossbow now. Or actually, I, I have a couple. Um, but I, I've made this one, which is called Thwunk. And it has mending. Uh... 
I'm not really sold. I, I made it just like as a respite from placing chests. And I'm, yeah, I don't know. I don't like how it's multi-action. The fact that you have to pull it back and then click again to fire. I like that normal bows are just like, you pull and then you let go and it fires. Anyway, never mind. Whatever. Something else which I did by accident, uh, and I didn't manage to record, which is quite annoying, was I got a trident. So... Yeah, I was just happily building, can't remember exactly what I was doing, and suddenly this thing came flying past my ear, and I was like, what was that? And I turned around, and uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a drowned. I mean, the drowned didn't come flying past my ear, that would be impressive. But uh, its trident, which it was holding, was flew past my ear, and I, I, so I killed the drowned, and I took its trident, and I was quite happy. And then I realised that... Uh, shadow play was broken and uh, it, I couldn't record it. So I was sad. But I have that now. Um, I'm going to put mending and some other enchantments on it and hopefully get it up to be cool again. I have played with, around with tridents in another world and I'm not sold on them either. I think they're just a bit slow and hard to aim with. So I probably won't use it but it would be nice to kind of, you know, just, just have one. Um, so what else did I do? Ah yes, I had to get glass because I ran out of glass somehow um and my desert is right next to a jungle so i also got bamboo yay i have bamboo I'm, i'll make a farm for that at some point um bamboo trident oh yes i recorded the first part of this episode uh back when you could make this epic armor which was obviously only like one or two uh minor updates and now I'm in 1.13? I just took a screenshot. I did that last time I tried to open F3. Uh, and now I'm 1.14.3, uh, soon to be 1.14.4, and it is no longer possible to make this kind of armor. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful with this, slash sneakily duplicate it uh, before I lose it. Um... Yeah, so I, I, now that that storage system is finished, I managed to move most of my the chests, which were kind of still lying around under here where my old base was, not including these uh, fishing results chests. I still have them. Um, this cow is just hanging out. Uh, I think he's stuck. He's been there for many, many, many days, and I'm going to leave him there and probably eventually name him because it's quite funny. Um... So that's that's about it. Oh no, no, I missed one thing, at least. I I went and sat by the mob farm for a bit. And then I came down to check what I got, and it was basically nothing, and I was like, what's going on? So I flew back up and I realized that there was a mob of witches, and I was just like, oh my goodness. So it kind of looked like this. Which obviously isn't ideal. I'm gonna have to go and fix that so that I can actually kill the witches and get drops. Otherwise, they're just gonna like. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Um, uh, whatever. Okay. So, uh, I've got like a list of talking points on on one of my screens, and I'm reading them, and I'm like, have I covered everything? Because I, I need to end this episode. I know I only spent like nine minutes making that whole building, where I spent two episodes building this one. <laughs> It's just, you know, arguably more complicated. That's just big and repetitive and boring, but it's bigger. Anyway, we'll get over that. Next episode, I am going to go and explore the ocean, um, because I can re-explore the ocean with all the 1.13 things. Yay! So I'm going to get kelp and uh, kelp, because I really like kelp. It's a good, good fuel source. I like it a lot. Uh, might also get some other things like, I don't know, some, some parts of the sea. I doubt it. Anyway, uh, we'll find out because that is in the next episode, which is coming soon because I'm really enjoying being back. Uh, so I, I hope you... Uh, yeah, I, I, I am going to go now. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye!